Patients from Al Shifa's neonatal unit have safely arrived in Egypt. More than two dozen babies, many with severe health conditions, were evacuated from the besieged hospital yesterday. Now, the operation was spearheaded by the Palestinian Red Crescent Society and several other organizations, including the WHO. So for more on this, we've reached Dr. Ahmed Al-Mandari in Cairo. He's the World Health Organization's Regional Director for the Eastern Mediterranean. He joins us now. Thank you for making time for us. Thank you, Arti. My pleasure, and thank you for giving me the opportunity. So now, Dr. Al-Mandari, I want to start by just asking you if you have any more information at this stage about the status or on the condition of these babies. How are they doing? Um, we moved uh, today around um, morning time, 28 uh, babies, you know, from uh, the Rafah uh, hospital to the Egyptian side. Um, 16 of them, in fact, you know, were shifted to uh, Cairo, and uh, 12 of them, they stayed there in uh, Rafah, uh, Egyptian border side. Their situation and their status is very critical. Uh, some of them are really in a very uh, critical situation in terms of, uh, you know, septicemia. Uh, others are emaciated because of the lack of uh, nutrition during their stay in the Shifa hospital. But I'm really pleased to hear that, you know, uh, the experts here in the Egyptian side, from the first moment they received the babies, they have started, you know, stabilization and they have started whatever needed care for them, adding to whatever care given to them yesterday in uh, the, um, you know, hospital in Rafah. Of course, it's an incredibly complicated situation. I'm wondering when it comes to uh, these more than two dozen uh, babies that have been moved now, do... Do any of them have their parents with them or their mother? Um, this is the most difficult challenge, to be honest. Yesterday, when they moved them from a Shifa hospital to Rafah hospital, you know, Rafah side, uh, many of them are not having their parents, but the Minister of Health is checking for their parents, to con trying to contact them. And luckily, we managed today to get uh, one mother for two twins. Uh, she is with them now in the Egyptian side. Uh, four um, or three more babies are uh, having their mothers with them, whom they are moved to Cairo here, in fact, you know, so four, four babies are having their mothers with them. And the rest is, you know, still Minister of Health and Health Authorities in Gaza with the um, Palestinian Red Crescent are searching for, for their uh, mothers and family members. Now, it sounds like this would be an incredibly complicated feat, trying to move uh, these young babies that are in, as you say, critical condition, in some cases emaciated. Can you tell us more, walk us through what goes into something like that? Uh, it is a very heartbreaking, uh, art, you know, and, and very devastating to see such a situation. Uh, the team, when, they, when, when our team with the other UN agencies team visited uh, a Shifa hospital two days back, they have seen first-hand experience, you know, the very bad situation there in the hospital. Um, patients are wounded, their, infection, their, wound, their wounds are in, is infected. Um, a few patients with spinal injuries, they need surgery on time. The team couldn't do the surgery because of lack of, of you know, infrastructure and fuel. Uh, those babies, in fact, you know, we, last week we had 39 babies. Uh, unfortunately, we ended up of, uh, by with, with 31 babies, you know, uh, because uh, some of them died there in the hospital uh, because of lack of oxygen. Um, it is a very challenging, you know, journey because uh, the, the, the movement from a Shifa hospital to um, Rafah side is, was very risky because of the security, because of the destruction of the roads toward that place. So it, is, it was a very challenging uh, mission. You know, I'm hoping you can also give us some details on the images that we've been looking at. And it looks like these babies are being transported in portable incubators. I'm wondering if that's accurate and, and what sort of equipment is necessary to ensure the safe transport of uh, these infants? That was, in fact, another challenging uh, part of the journey of shifting them from a Shifa hospital to uh, Rafah side. Uh, there was a lack of equipment and machines, especially during the, their stay in the hospital, uh, you know, because of the damming of, of the incubators, because of the lack of the electricity and oxygen. So the staff there in the Shifa hospital used to move them to another, uh, you know, room using normal, ordinary beds, and they tried their level best to save their lives. Uh, during the shift, we managed to get uh, the support of the Palestinian Red Crescent, well-equipped, 
uh, and then you know yes today also egyptian side they are well prepared by um, the teams by their ambulances and incubators uh, sophisticated one you know they managed to move them so i i'm really very blessed pleased you know to to have them here in egypt side you know fully fully supported to be to be taken care by experts in 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 the in the area of medicine you know, as a physician, I'm wondering if you can shed more light uh, for us on the outlook for these infants as well, particularly when you say that uh, in some cases they don't have their parents or their mother with them. H how does that complicate things? And again, what are their chances of surviving and being healthy? As I said, you know, the, the, the technical care here in the Egyptian side is really of a high level. So I'm optimistic that their lives will be, inshallah, definitely saved. But as you said, you know, unfortunately, many of them are lacking their parents, their mothers, to be on their side. Yes, they are babies. They do not, you know, uh, you know, feel or they do not see. But at the end, uh, their psyche definitely will have that sort of spiritual link with their mothers. So this is the difficult part also, uh, you know, having many of them lacking or, uh, you know, deprived from their mothers and their parents. But I'm sure, you know, that the teams there in, in Gaza will be able to identify them and we are ready to receive them and coordinate with the Egyptian authorities to, to bring them here to, to Egypt. Dr. Al-Mandari, we really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dr. Al-Mandari is the WHO's mm -hmm. Regional Director for the Eastern Mediterranean.